in the verse 17 apostle paul says in ephesians he said that i want you to be grounded and rooted in love and then it goes on to say i want you to comprehend all the depth and the width and the height and and the length to know the love of christ which passes understanding <laughs> it's interesting how god says i want you to know the love of god which is more than you will know write this down the number one know that god loves you more than you know that is the foundation of a miracle in the mind unless you're taking notes i don't want you to be on the social media let's just pay attention know that christ loves you more than you know the foundation of your mind has to be unfailing love of God everyone here probably have heard and everybody here somehow in their mind already maybe have the information that God loves me but it has to become aha moment for you it has to become a revelation inside the love of God cannot change you as long as God has it inside of him the love of God can only change you when you begin to know it and experience it if I have a barrel of cold good water purified water next to you and you are thirsty the water being close to you cannot quench your thirst the water has to be inside of you the presence of water in this room does not make you not be thirsty so it's not the presence of water that kills your thirst it's when the water goes inside of you that's when your thirst is gone many people think if God loves me all of my problems will be over no if you don't know it if you don't know he loves you all of that love can do nothing for you if you don't know deeply experimentally on the level of your mind and on the level of your heart that God truly genuinely loves me me today not only when I'm good but also when I make mistakes he loves me even when he disciplines he still loves me and he disciplines out of love when you know God's love something begins to happen your mind has these roots called thoughts subconscious it begins to go into the soil of the love of God and receive its nutrients and your thinking processes the way you think the way you make decisions the way you speak begins to be inspired and begins to be influenced by the fact you are loved you're able to give love to others you're able to be confident and secure even if you don't look as great as other people you are able to be confident and walk with your head up even if you might not be as great as someone else why because your roots are receiving proper nutrients from the love of God your mind can never properly function if it's not based on the foundation God loves you God loves you I know that for most of you this is as coming as information and honestly there's very very little I can do right now to make it into a revelation without Holy Spirit you will know it because the Bible says the Holy Spirit pours out the love of God into our heart meaning Holy Spirit turns information into a revelation I remember being on subway in Ukraine two weeks ago when this revelation I knew God loves me I grew up hearing God loves me I preached God loves me but something happened in Ukraine there was few messages that happened there that impacted me on a very very deep level I cannot explain in a subway in Ukraine I remember reading the verse John 3 16 and that part where it says for God that word so loved the world 
it started to just melt the fears that I had it started to melt the word so loves that even the things I've done and the things people have done to me that maybe growing up not being lovable or not receiving enough love God so loves not just loves but that so started to sink in I remember in subway reading that verse and all of our guys were just there but they were not realizing that at that moment a drops of just divine love started to penetrate my heart that God is for me God thinks good stuff about me that God loves me God is not against me that God genuinely cares about me and he thinks about me and the way I look in the mirror and how much money I make and how many friends I have and how I perform all of that actually matters nothing God so loved the world you know it, it didn't say it didn't say God so loved the monks the priests the Pope Francis he didn't say God so loved Billy Graham it says the world if it would have said the church I would have doubted that because maybe I'm not part of it but the world I fit right in and that word so it just it hits something inside of my spirit where after that something begins to change in my heart I cannot explain I'm not saying I'm a brand new person but my roots started to get wet no longer with how much I love God but it came a revelation God loves me you may say what about other scriptures where God says I will find you I don't know about those scriptures I know that is the scripture that must become a foundation of your thinking that's why apostle paul says in ephesians be rooted not where god says vengeance is mine he says be rooted and grounded not where god says i'll find you i'm a jealous god be rooted and grounded in this for god so loved the world that is supposed to be your foundation know this god loves you more than you know you will never know exactly how much God loves you because the moment you know a little bit more God says my love there is still so much more you will never know this gives me so much confidence when I pray this gives you so much confidence when you pray this gives you confidence to pray for the sick this gives you confidence to witness to people and this gives you confidence the greatest thing is this is to live a Christian life with your light in your face with the life of God in your heart why because you are loved amen God so loved the world and the, you know there's a lot of people who tell you that I love you in this world today everybody smiles this is a beautiful part about this country everybody smiles in my country people don't smile I found out one of the reasons some people have crooked teeth in Ukraine but <laughs> But that's beside the point but in, in the country I came from pe people just don't smile everybody just has this very mean look you come to the United States everybody smiles but we all know one thing how many smiles we gave to people that are purely purely pathetic and fake we just smiles like get off of my face move on we're like move move just hurry up hi good to see you too love you too uh-huh just move move so I can keep doing what I was doing and sometimes when you read God loves you you're like yeah I said that to so many people but you did you gave nothing God said my words are not cheap I backed it up anytime you doubt God's love because maybe you think it's just words well God backed it up because after that goes the backup goes the proof that he gave his only begotten son God's love is not just words God is not just very colorful, colorful with his words. Like there's some guys that are very romantic. They can, they can, they can talk so sweet in a text message. And then when they see the person they meet for coffee, they just forget the English language. They forget the obvious words. They cannot communicate. They cannot, they don't know how to do anything. And so many times people think God is the same way. He's in heaven. He just sends these beautiful messages, messages, messages. And then God shows up and like, what do we do? No, God proved his love. Anytime you doubt God's love, there's a proof. So you will have no doubt. Can somebody say amen? The healing of our mind begins to happen. We begin to accept the fact that God loves us. 
and that truly satisfies us every love people give you will never be enough people's love for you will never be enough God never meant for people to replace God in our life I remember when I had to learn that you know I have the most amazing parents in the world mom and dad but they're not God they are not God and their love for me is never supposed to replace God and I had to learn that the hard way when I was expecting a certain things and I'm one of those people you know I don't communicate properly if I want something from you you're not giving it to me I'm gonna go cry about it worship God about it but not gonna tell you about it you know and there were a few moments in my life and my parents probably have heard it when I was yearning to hear those words you know I'm proud of you son one particular event was when I went my dad went to Lowe's I shared this story in other places except our church my dad went to Lowe's one day and there was one cashier who was working there and she looked at his card and she recognized the last name and she knew me and so she said hey I know your son he preaches on TV and she just started to say all these nice words so my dad comes home I remember this was on Kubota I remember how old I was I can describe every single thing this was a very vivid moment of my life because my dad comes and he says hey hey I gotta tell you something I met this girl and she said that she knows you and I'm like what did she say you know here's me I'm living my life you know waiting for my dad to tell me I'm proud of you son and he did that but he just wanted to hear more it's just never enough right it's just never enough you don't hear it enough you just eat every single day and so because I always felt that my dad wanted me to be something else than a preacher and here my dad comes and sits on the couch he begins to describe and my mouth jar open and I'm listening like a thirsty man in the desert of Sahara I said so what did she say and he said well well she said it doesn't matter what she said the, the interesting part is that she remembered you and it's just so awesome that she remembered my last name I was like well, dad what did she say it doesn't matter what she said what, what matters is that she remembered his last name and that left no problem dad did not know I started to weep because I was in realized I I wanted that just the hug I guess and that little you know American thing I love you son you're proud of you <laughs> and next morning I went to prayer and I remember sitting in prayer and I said Lord really I said God I have the most amazing dad and mom in the world but at that moment Holy Spirit revealed something to me he said I will never let your parents love you to that degree which will make me unnecessary in your prayer guys God will let people love you but that will never replace God you may have the most beautiful most awesome parents spouses but you must understand you must be rooted and grounded in the love of God